Hello and welcome to Health Talk. I'm Laura Engel. What if I told you that you could change your DNA right now? You think I was crazy, right? Well, it turns out you can actually mold your genetics to fight off disease and live longer. The science behind it is called nutrigenomics. And joining me now to tell us all about it is Dr. Partha Nandy. He's the author of the book, Ask Dr. Nandy. Thank you for being here. So, of course, we want to ask you all about this because this sounds like an incredible new find. So what is nutrigenomics exactly? Yeah, thanks for having me. You know, it's a big fancy word, but what it means is that the stuff you put in your mouth can actually affect your genes. So, for example, you put a food in your mouth, it can actually affect how, which kind of genes, what kind of proteins come out. So that's why it's so critical. For me, you know, my grandpa died when he was age 47 from a heart attack. So I wanted to be around for my kids and not have the same fate. So I did a lot of research to find out. And, and we're talking off camera. I, you know, we didn't have this in medical school. Right. And so now this is cutting edge research that shows that I can actually, and you can, and everybody else, can actually change your genes, meaning that you can change what your genes produce. So you're not, you're not held by that, and you're not just saying, I am only my genes, but you can actually take your destiny in your hands. That's what's so cool changing about it. Changing your life and actually changing your DNA. Isn't that cool? It's incredible. It's unbelievable. It is incredible. Well, thank you for sharing all this with hey, us. It's my today. pleasure. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you. And if you have a health question, you want to send a tweet to Fox News Health. I'm Laura Ingle, Fox News. You want to get an edge on turning back the clock with just a few pills? Who doesn't? Well, it's no longer science fiction, but science possibility, a potential breakthrough. As I found out firsthand, there may be a way to erase years, at least inside my body. Granted, it's down the road, but some scientists are wondering if a new pill I took might offer a very long life. It may not look like the fountain of youth, but inside this nondescript building, I'm about to become part of an exciting experiment, a kind of guinea pig. Dr. McCord, okay. I'm here at the University of Colorado in Denver to meet Dr. Joe McCord, a world-renowned scientist. This is a pretty exciting stuff you're finding, huh? It is. We're very excited about it. His latest research could very well unravel the mystery of aging itself. And as decades of experiments may have the potential of adding years to people's lives and possibly prevent chronic diseases like cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. It all centers around this small yellow pill. And for me, it begins with a blood test. Here, can you scoop? Yeah, there we go. It wouldn't be the first time I've given blood for this company. <laughs> they want to check my levels of something called T-bars, which is a rough indicator of a person's actual age. T-bars can identify a condition known as oxidative stress, a kind of measure of the wear and tear on our bodies. Oxidative stress, like the rusting of an engine, is not a good thing. Bad for the body. Leading to disease. Leading to disease and leading to malfunction and, importantly, leading to what we call aging. It is a slow progression of increasing oxidative stress. That's the main characteristic, biochemically, of the aging process. The problem of aging begins with the very food we eat to give us energy. As our cells burn that food, they also release toxic chemicals. Those chemicals, you may know them as free radicals, react with all the components of our cells, literally bombarding them millions of times per second, damaging all our cells. The result? Oxidative stress. And we all have it. The body fights back with a system of defenses. It makes two antioxidant enzymes, catalase and SOD, whose job is to gobble up the free radicals before they can harm our cells. But as we get older, some of those toxic radicals overwhelm our enzymes and wreak their havoc. For a long time, scientists thought that antioxidant vitamins like C and E would lower it, but they don't. As it's turned out in just the last five years or so, we see that they're not good enough tools. They're not powerful enough. But this pill, he says, is powerful enough. In fact, many times more powerful. So, doctor, how often do I take these? And so, here I go. With that swallow, I've just become part of a potentially landmark scientific experiment. Doesn't taste bad. 
It's called protandum, and tests on both mice and humans have already shown that it revs up the manufacture of those good enzymes in our bodies. More enzymes, fewer free radicals to harm us. Whether that will lead to longer life is still unknown. Experiments to see if mice live longer are about to get underway, but it's a tantalizing theory. Right now, all we know is that this preparation decreases oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is not a disease, just like aging is not in itself a disease, but it's something that accompanies and is attached to, to many disease processes. Have you discovered the fountain of youth? Uh, I wouldn't put it that way, but we may have uh, discovered something that will tell us a lot more about how we age, what happens biochemically, and maybe how we can slow it down. And so you can see the age-related... Normally, oxidative stress, measured by those T-bars, increases with age. But in Dr. McCord's tests, taking just one pill of protandum a day reversed that trend for everyone at every age, even for an 80-year-old. They all are reduced to the level of oxidative stress that one would expect, frankly, in a, in a newborn or a very young child. Back to the oxidative stress levels of a child? It sounds too good to be true. Will Pretandum work on me? Well, perhaps. It turns out there is some other promising evidence that seems to back up Dr. McCord's findings. The scientific evidence is there. The pieces seem to make sense. The question is, does this translate into something that humans can take advantage of? So just what's in this seemingly incredible pill? Well, actually, its roots are very humble. Protandum is a combination of five plant ingredients. Some you may know, green tea or turmeric, a spice used in Indian cooking. Others, with Thania somnifera and Silibum marianum, are more exotic. There's a huge human experience with each of these ingredients. Uh, they've been used often in traditional medicine in India and China and uh, many other cultures. In some cases, centuries and centuries. And so, ancient Eastern healing and modern Western medicine may soon be working together. High oxidative stress is associated with more than aging. It's been linked to hundreds of illnesses. It's at the very center of many diseases. Liver disease, diabetes, emphysema, asthma. Uh, uh, I've studied all of these, strokes, heart attacks. Even mental disease? Yes. Depression? Alzheimer's disease, depression. Dr. James Crapo with the National Jewish Medical Center in Denver is also researching protandum for the company. Are you saying that this could be a cure-all? You're looking at something will have a, a, a small impact, uh, but an important impact. We make no claims about curing any disease or preventing any disease. Um, we hope that when enough studies are done, perhaps such claims might be able to be made in the future. Clinical studies to assess protandum in both diabetes and heart disease should start in three to four months. But what about my progress? After nearly two weeks now, it's time to get my results. Dr. McCord calculates the numbers. The result? My level of oxidative stress has declined dramatically. 45%. That's, that's excellent. Just look at where I fall on the graph before and after which if extrapolated back is, is the level you would see in a newborn baby. Have we turned back the clock? Well, maybe not on the outside, but deep inside within my cells. Yes, indeed. Would you suggest I keep taking this supplement? I would. Um, I can't guarantee it's going to extend your life. I can't guarantee it's going to... Uh, eliminate any diseases or cure any diseases. But we do know that oxidative stress is part of those disease processes. I don't want to wait until I'm 80 years old and find out that I should have taken it. The company that makes Protandum says its tests show the pill made from ingredients used for centuries is absolutely safe. But because it's being sold as a nutritional supplement and not a drug, Protandum does not need FDA approval for safety.